Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. I will do a basic of how you age on the face because we've been only talking skin, skin, skin. I want you to know, and in between, I threw some fat. So I just want to tell you, for a layman, like how we talked about cellular aging, I'm talking about skin face aging. Let's hmm. say. So firstly, you know that there's a bony framework skull, correct? There is a skull. You know that the knee becomes aged because knee, um, what do you say? Uh, becomes less bony or the bones become thinner so the joint gets affected because of that resorption of bone happens right what you call it gis jata hai type synovial fluid that is different synovial fluid is different oh, we're just talking so, about the bone, bone density itself. reducing yes bone density bone size reduces hmm. bone size reduces yeah so what happens to the face also reduces which we don't think of a face size reduces yeah so there is this beautiful paper yes. by dr shaw et al there are the, uh, these are few game changers in our field um so, so dr shaw explained in in one of his papers where if you say this is the skull the skull actually folds over your chin becomes smaller and it folds over so you see this crease becoming more prominent as you age skull literally and you start showing more of your double chin because the chin is now becoming shorter and folding ahead Mm. So that is thing happens. The opening, you know, there is an opening of the eye. If you see a skull, there are two holes and two holes. One hole, right? For the mouth also, there's one hole, mouth and nose together. These holes become bigger because bone is also getting resorbed there. So the holes become bigger and it shifts like this. Laterally, it's becoming bigger. So you start seeing the skin going like that as you grow older. Hollow happening here because the bone support is going. And the other very important framework with bone is teeth. How many actors at 50, I've sent them and said, first do your teeth and come back to me. And I plan the teeth with my dentist for, no, not my dentist. As, yeah, my dentist, I love her. She's fantastic. But with any dentist that I want to work with or they want to work with, I sit and plan as to how I want the teeth to be. Because for me, that's a big framework. Teeth become shorter and smaller. This, this whole thing folds over, right? This comes together because like, now I'm saying this bone is becoming small. This whole ear is becoming bigger. This bone is also getting small. This bone is also getting small. Teeth is getting small. Where is all the soft tissue going? It'll crowd up. So I want them opening up. So I am going to get their teeth done. Game changer. So you end up getting the teeth done. Then I can inject fillers at the bone where I know the resorption is happening. Sometimes you're born with a small jawline. Like most Indians have a micrognathia, which is small chin. Retrognathia, which is chin which is retrusive. So that is already making your face soft tissue and we are soft tissue heavy. Indians. Yeah, soft tissue heavy as in we are chubbier, right? Simply say soft tissue heavy. So that's one of my papers with a few of my colleagues that we wrote, which was published in IRS, um, which, uh, which got the best paper award two, three years ago. So we did a consensus paper, how the Indian face ages and how different faces ages differently and how I keep saying we are Indians and not Asians. Because have you seen a Asian face or let's say a Chinese face. So robust the bone structures. They have a big face and a flat upper face. Big chin. But we have a chubby face and a small face. So we are very different than Asians. You can't categorize us as Asians. Their anyway, faces are more conducive back. to aging. Could be because their, their bony framework is so strong. So they don't just collapse like us. Mm. So one is your framework, which is your bone and your teeth. Uske upar you have muscles, fat, ligaments. Fat, like I said, is subcutaneous, which means just under the skin. And then you have the deep fat and the superficial fat, which I just explained. Deep fat regresses as you age. Superficial fat becomes excess and flows down or folds down as you age. That is what is happening. Muscle, kind of, there are theory which says the distance between the bone now change, right? Skin and the bone because the bone became smaller. So the muscle contracts is some, say, muscle elongates is what, say, that's still kind of different papers say a little different things. So you have muscle, it's not big muscle that it'll change. Our facial muscles are thin like ribbons. They're that thin. They're literally like when you do cadaver dissections, it's literally like paper thin. So that much. So oh, how will you bulk it? You can't bulk it. So when people say facial exercise, muscle bulks, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Yes, it's a thin like a ribbon. Chewing gum khao, double chin jayegi. No. Chewing gum khao to jabbal thin nahi jayegi. आपका जो जॉ है इधर उसका मैसेटर मसल है वो और बढ़ जाएगा 
और आप ऐसा दिखने लगोगे इट इज बिकॉज चुईंगम खा खा के दिस इज अट्रिक मसल इट जस्ट बी एक्सपैंड नो चुईंगम नो पान नो बिड़ा नो चुईंग so having chewing gum is actually bad for yeah. your long term cosmetics in the co- in the contour of your face only on trs only on yes. trs <laughs> go on so then there is muscle then there are these larger muscles like only they are large the rest of them are all paper thin the larger muscles probably are your masseter or your temporalis these are like larger slightly thicker muscles you keep chewing you'll see a lot of people have this temporalis like this this you will see they are literally becoming broad and big and this becomes broad and big so don't do that don't keep chewing your face is supposed the aesthetics of the face is when it is narrow small faces they look really pretty right so the even on men to, men don't want like this face especially indian men have a i have seen when they come for injections jaw becomes big for most indian men and how does that happen it's not just the mesetric muscle that i was saying because they either chew gum or pan or they just are angry so they clench or you're picking up weight and you clench this overgrows beyond that there is also salivary gland called a parotid gland here so you literally see some people's ear or this is what we call pinna this lifts up with so much fat here now that's not necessarily fat that's a salivary gland so there is a gland sitting here like i said one of my mentors um, dr St- dr um, waffles woo is uh, has written this paper where he ends up giving botox even in the gland and it works beautifully well and i do that so often and i love the way i can shape the jaw so you do the masseter and you work on the parotid gland third and the fourth component is there's fat which is obviously coming in all this area which becomes excess there also superficial fat fourth is skin excess happens and i told you when anything excess happens is obviously coming down here then your bone is resorbing so whatever excess is sitting here as a loose thing rather than a bony framework which is occupying it it is not it is just sitting here so it becomes so that is it hey wait wait i have to do one more layer yeah go then on then the last layer is skin so when you tell me that i am looking dull as i am growing old dull is because your shadows of the face are shifting your under eye is looking more hollow this is looking more hollow this is coming down there's a shadow forming here so your skin is now looking not nice but it is all looking down so me working only on your skin मुझे बस एक क्रीम दे दो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क लाइक आई सेट द बोन इज रिजॉर्ब अंडर नीथ फैट इज चेंजिंग सो दर इज हॉलोज फॉर्मिंग फोल्ड्स फॉर्मिंग स्ट्रक्चर चेंजिंग अनलेस आई एड्रेस ऑल ऑफ देम इट्स लाइक यू गिव अ डिलेपिटेटेड बिल्डिंग एंड आई एल ओनली पेंट नहीं होने वाला यू हैव टू डू द ब्रिक एंड वॉटर वर्क यू हैव टू डू इफ इट नीड्स टू बी यू टेक ऑफ द प्लास्टरिंग ब्रिक एंड वॉटर एंड स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट वॉट यू कॉल दैम द आई एन रॉड्स विच which has kind of they'll say no it is all kind of rusted so we'll have to start working on your inside first and then you do the brick and mortar then you do the plastering then you do the painting so it's same it's even a car when it gets dented you can't just polish it paint it you need to undo the dent and then paint it this is all artwork it's too yeah. complicated yeah it's like, too interesting uh, it's very interesting that is why i think i am still having this childlike interest in my work every day when i finish a face i'm like <gasps> Fab. Mm. I am only thrilled more than that. And I'll keep mm. looking at the mirror and say, "Look at this!" And they are like so thrilled, and I am also thrilled at my work. It's because each face is different and such an artwork, and it's such a pleasure for me to work on. So I'm not bored, though I'm doing the same ten things over this many years. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer Show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.